Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. And I think they really come out really pretty. Right, the flowers on these cards are not stamping up. They were a stamp set I got free out of a magazine. And the reason I'm using this is because the flowers are different sizes. And stamping up don't do one like that. So I've decided to use this and I've cut out sizes one, two and three on this one. This one I actually used a couple of tiny ones. The butterfly comes from Butterfly Wishes, a brand new stamp set and I'm going to use that butterfly there. Um, the sentiment I'm going to use Love to Celebrate You. I haven't got it out. Yeah, that's big enough. So I'm going to use that out of birthday wishes. Let's stick that on a block. Yeah. And Right, the leaves, I'm going to do these leaves. I've got these flowers, but these leaves, which have come out of humming along. And I've just stamped a few of them. And I cut them out using this die, which I've already done. I have a pile of them here. So I don't need to be cutting out leaves. I have got the flowers already stamped and cut but I will stamp another one um, and I hand cut them where are they all so, so that's all my flowers cut as you can see by my flowers I am going to do this one in rich raspberry so I've got a card base of a full A4 which is 11 and three quarters, I think. Yeah, 11 and three quarters by four and one eighth, folded in half. I also have a, I've got three white pieces of card, uh, all measuring three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, right? One's for the front, one's for inside, I want to cut out this shape here, so we'll put that to the side. And then I've got another piece of rich raspberry, which I have embossed, and that will sit on top like that. And that's the inside, so that will go like that. Uh, and that is for the cutout. You need a scrap of white. Which I've got here for the butterflies. I haven't done that. Um, right. To get this shape underneath here, I am using one of these dies. Now these dies I've had for years. I don't know who makes them. There is no maker stamp on this one. Actually says. That's a tatted lace one. But I'm not using that, I'm using this one. And these don't have any makers' names on them. So, I couldn't even tell you where I got them from because I've had them for so long. So I will stick that on there. Now, I am going to tape it down. Because I don't want it to come out of the paper when I've finished. I want it to stay in the die when I finish so that we can sponge the inside of it. So let's move these out of the way. Rub butterfly 
for that, so I don't need that. Bring up the big shot. Move you out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just pop that in and run it through. And while the card is still in the die, I'm just going to sponge a shadow around it. As you can see the die is eating up my sponge, but that don't matter. Right, and that is what happens when you get a nice little border around it. I'll sort that out afterwards. Right, we don't need that. Don't need that. Right, before we do anything else, we'll stamp the sentiment with black ink. Bring that forward. Let's bring you in a bit. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. Actually, all the stamping I'm going to do today. I was going to stamp a flower, but I've got the butterfly to make. So let's just stick some card together. Because it's embossed, we'll put extra glue on it. Stick that down like that. And then we stick this. Inside the butterfly inside, so we keep that, and then this I just glue flat. And we glue that to the middle. Right. 
Well, that just looks okay as it is. Stray bit of card. So, that's that. And then we'll pop all our flowers round and make it look pretty when... Oh no. That's having two of them size and a small one and a small one with a big one like that and then loads of leaves all around but we'll put that to one side for now because we're going to do some butterfly oh me yeah, two butterflies now I'm going to use my stamp positioner to do this I bet you're thinking I'm mad to do a butterfly with a stamp positioner. We'll do the inside one first. And we're going to do this one on the inside. Now that is this butterfly. I'm going to do on the inside. So I'm going to pop that there. So let's move this in a bit out of the corner. And line it up with that line and that line. Just so I know where it is in case the paper moves. Right. This stamp I'm going to butterfly, I'm going to stamp it in Melon Mambo, Rich Raspberry and Blackberry Bliss. Right. But I'm not gonna ink it up the traditional way. I need space, sorry. I'm just trying to make some space. I do need my daubers. Right, I want Melon Mambo. There. Rich Raspberry. I bet I haven't got. Oh, what's this one? No. raspberry. Now I know I haven't got a um, they're all current colours so so far I'm not, I need that oh that I do right first we'll take the melon mambo And with that over, pick up some ink and then we're just going to ink it all over. And stamp it down. Doesn't that look lovely? Right. I'm going to clean it off. We don't need that. Oh yeah, we need that for the other butterfly. Right, rich raspberry. just going to go, not completely to the edge, but just add a bit of darker colour around the edge, like that. And 
and then with rich raspberry. Now with this being a new dauber, I'll we'll need to ink it up really well. This one we're going to just sweep around the edges of the stamp and also his antennae and his body. That's how I get inky fingers. Instead of using a cloth, I use my fingers. So I just want a straight line for his body. And then just making sure that the edge is really dark with. Blackberry Bliss and over we go. Do that a bit more. And there we have a pink butterfly. My nice clean cloth is now all pink. Lucky enough it washes out. Right. That's that one finished. That will go in the inside, doesn't that look lovely? That'll go inside. Alright, we need to do this butterfly. This one, I'm just going to do the middle with Melon Mambo. Enough ink on there. Towards the edge in Rich Raspberry. Then around the edges in Blackberry Bliss. See how that comes out. Hmm, not very well. So let's clean it. And put rich uh, melon mambo over the edges. Over the middle, should I say, and then add some rich raspberry, and then add 
Blackberry Plus. That's nice, I'll keep that like that. Mm. I want around the edges a bit darker. How can I do that? I know. I am going to get a darker ink. Basic way. So that means I need a dauber. See what that looks like. Oh, it's starting to come out the way I want it. Lovely. So let's just put these in here. Come out the way. Clean the sponge. Right, that stamp's not cleaned very well. I'm going to stick that on there. And I will clean that afterwards. And put that away. with this butterfly it actually fits in the duo butterfly punch so just line it up and punch it out get that out of my way so we have Oh, beautiful butterfly. I think it's beautiful. And we have a mini one, which I don't want. So that will go on there. Oh, that actually goes nice with that card, colour card. So let's stick the inside one in. get to stick these flowers on but what I did first was 
with my burr folder I flicked out all the leaves leaves petals and then I just bent them in the middle where the little bump is just to give them a bit of dimension and I did the same with them all Side that one belongs on there. And then. Oh, update on my granddaughter. She got blue lighted over to the um, renal unit in Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Glasgow, because her kidneys failed. But after four days, they kicked back in again, and she's doing really, really well. That was Sunday, last Sunday, a week ago. And I got a phone call Monday, yesterday, which is the... Oh my God, what was the day? 8th, 9th, 10th of June. To say that she's had all the tubes taken out. And her kidneys are working again on their own. And she's doing fine. And she could be home in a couple of days. Which is brilliant. Right. These I just spread the leaves round. Wherever I thought they were needed. Some are too long. So what I did was I cut the bottoms off. and tuck them in. So let's stick the flowers down first. So with a bit of glue, paste the flowers down. Quickly turn that. And On there, on there, and on there. Right, I took all the stems off, I know I did that. So, bit of glue on the bottom and bend the ends in. This one right under there. <coughs> That's a bit long. That uh, stick this one up here. <coughs> Cut up 
ona. And just to give it a bit of dimension. I don't want them sticking too flat. Cut another one up. And <coughs> sorry about that. Go and take my inhaler when I finish this card. And this sweet man, or girl, can sit there. All we need to do is put some gems on it. So on some of them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put them on. I've got some of these little faceted gems. in the middle of each flower. I don't got any bigger ones. glass gems I'm going to put down the body of the butterfly I think he takes five on its head So there we are. Another pretty card, I think. And I have this one. I think is my favourite. This embossed folder 
a friend lent me at Crop. When I went to Crop on Saturday, I go to an all-day card making session with a load of other ladies. We have a good chat and lunch and yes, it's an all-day thing. Do that once a month. And she lent me that embossing folder, which I thought was really pretty. It's a frame. And this piece actually sits inside. So that's that one. And then this one is near enough the same. Except I did tiny but flowers on there and I haven't got no tiny flowers on there. Well, I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, um, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. Hope to see you again soon.